the return of Kohli is always the main draw. He's his box office and the fact that he's playing in what is India's last T20 series before the World Cup tells you that that number three spot will sorry, sorry, continue. Just, he's on an absolute movie role. I know. You got that? Return of Kohli, Return of the King from Lord of the King <laughs> Return Kohli. Return yeah, of yeah. Look, I've worked in a movie channel, so I've always been a filmy yeah. picture. <laughs> but you know, the Return of Kohli really is is blockbuster stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Look, what I'm the way I'm looking at it is 13 years. <clears throat> it's 13 years since he won that 2011 World Cup. Yeah. And he was a callow young kid out there. There were giants around him. Yeah. After that, he's come so close so many times. They've won the Champions Trophy, but he's never really won the big one. Yeah. You know, and that's something that both he and Rohit desperately want. I mean, Rohit they didn't even have to, to 2011 in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, all I'm saying is that they really, really want to do this well. And I think that's the reason, that's the hunger that's bringing them back. Yeah. He's not playing here to extend his career. He's just trying here to tick off that last box that is not there in what is otherwise a glittering career. Yeah. You know, in terms of test yeah. wins, in terms of everything, just top it off with one ICC trophy, which is a top top level ICC, a World Cup win, and he's done. On but I think it'll be a full circle, right? Like when they won in 2000, uh, they, he had Sachin on his shoulders. Yeah, yeah. 11. If yeah. Exactly. Will, now they, someone, they, someone will have, someone will have Virat, Virat on his shoulders. On, yeah. Someone will have Virat. Or Rohit on their and yeah. Rohit on their shoulders. Yep. Well, uh, India have won the toss and they've chosen to bowl first. And why not? Because uh, you've got the chase master in the ranks back uh, in the mix as well. Uh, Virat Kohli is uh, clearly, once again, regardless of what the yardstick is, what the benchmark is, Virat Kohli in a league of his own. Look at those numbers, Joy. An average of 90 in successful T20 international changes, uh, chases. 16 half centuries. Is there anything this man can't do with the bat? Also, very interesting, if you look at those numbers, there's one thing I'll tell you. The most interesting part of it is that normally, that number of 90 is there because in T20 cricket, you can't get to a number of 90 yeah. because normally. So, what happens is, <coughs> you've got a lot of not outs. Yeah, that's true. Lot of not outs you get when you're batting at 5 or 6. So, Dhoni, for example, is regarded as chase master, lot of not outs, okay? At 5 or 6, Rinku Singh today does a lot of not outs. But to bat at 3, where Virat bats, and to get that many not outs, you get an average of 90. That tells you something. From number three, the number of games he's finished, that is the true statistic that it's not showing up in these numbers, but that is the true statistic to do it at that level. And the gap between him and... That's why, that's why you see the other averages are low. Why the lower. other average is low? All of them are getting out. Yeah, also the number of runs. Look at that, a gap of almost 400 runs between him and, and Baba Razam. But that innings uh, against Pakistan in Melbourne was perhaps the happiest twist once he is done with the game. When he looks back at it, uh, would he look at that as as perhaps the the most important twist in his life and career? That innings against Pakistan at Melbourne? No, I don't think so. Because we look by by the time he played that innings, he was well established as yeah, exactly. as an all time great. If that innings had come uh, at the start of his career, and then suddenly, like take Lakshman for example. Lakshman will look back at his Sydney hundred yeah, and say that was the turning point. Yeah. Virat would look at thing at his Adelaide 100 in Australia in one of his early tours and say, okay, listen, that was my turning point where everything sort of, you know, fell into place after that. Yeah. Uh, Sanjay Manjrekar gets trolled a lot for that one tweet where he said, let's give Virat one more test just to make sure uh, that he's good enough at that level. He gets trolled he's a lot for that. that level. He's not good enough. But the fact is, what he's saying is, give him that one more opportunity before completely writing him off because there were a lot of people writing him off at that point. Yeah. Yeah. So, people have mistaken and sort of misunderstood that tweet a little bit. But the point is, this innings, when he played that innings, as spectacular as it was, yeah. we had come to expect that from Virat. Yeah. I mean, I for one wasn't surprised that he played such a fabulous innings yeah. because you've come to expect that's the, that's the benchmark, the bar that he said. He said so high that, you know, if anyone else had played it, it would be like, ooh. <laughs> but because he's played it, that ooh is a little shorter because you come to expect that from him. Now, Virat is at a stage where this will not make any sense. The best of innings doesn't make sense until the trophy is yeah. there at the end. So, at the end of the day, no matter how satisfying a knock that was, finally, India didn't go on to win the cup. Yeah. If India had gone on to win the cup, you would have looked at it differently. And I think everything now, Virat and Rohit, we must understand they're beyond stats. Yep. They are beyond their name in the you know Legion of Indian Cricket. Yep. They're only chasing a World Cup. That's what these guys are doing. They're two guys who have played fantastic cricket all their careers. They don't care for numbers, they don't care for captaincy, they don't care for anything. They want a World Cup. They want that in their cabinet, trophy cabinet. Yes. Especially Rohit, because Virat's at least got one. Yeah. 
Yeah. So Rohit's thinking, listen, I've got to get one. You know, with all that he's achieved. Ro well, Rohit in has the game. 2017, yeah, but technically 2017 yeah, but has got one. I mean, to do it as as one of the leaders in the <laughs> yeah. group, possibly as captain as well. We spoke about that, but. From a fan's point of view, maybe this question is is more on the minds of a lot of fans, Virat Kohli fans and all of us included as well. Would that 100-100 story be somewhere in the back of his mind? I'm not saying from a selfish point of view, but champions set big benchmarks for themselves. They set big goals for themselves. Is that 100-100 number, is that going to play on his mind? Is that going to egg him on to do more, to be fitter, play longer? 100-100? Uh, Look, if there's anyone who can do it, it's him. But at the moment, it seems uh, a little far away simply because if he's going to, after this World Cup, if he's going to give up T20, he's giving up one format of the game, yeah. then it's going to be that much tougher. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> where is he now? 70 something? 70? 70, 71, I think. No, no, he's up. up, up no, no, God, after 71, 70, he's gone up. 76, six, 78. 75, 76. Look, so, my point Even is, if he's 80, he needs to get another 20. Also, where has he got most of them? He's got most of them one in days. one day international cricket. You don't have that many one day international yeah. cricket matches. You don't score that many hundreds in T20, T20 international cricket. The number of centuries you get in one day cricket is no hundreds. Yeah, 80, so. in fact, one in T20s as well. So 80 yeah. needs 20 more. Yeah, so 80 hundreds, if you're talking about, I still feel it's very long because unless he gets about five, six in the in the next year in this test matches, it's very difficult because you're not playing that many ODIs. Look, also, also, like I said, if there's one player who can do it, it's him. Yeah. Because he can go on that one crazy run when he gets like six, seven, eight hundreds, like he did in this last year. Yeah. In this last year, he's got I think seven, seven, eight hundreds. So he can Correct. go on yeah, that exactly. He can go on that crazy run and get it. But to even break it down further, he's got eighty international hundreds. When did he make his debut? Two thousand ten. Yep. So in fourteen years, he's got eighty. So. To get 20, like one fourth of that, he needs to play another four five years. Mm. If he's, Unless he goes on some crazy run. Or he p decides that he's going to play the next uh, uh, ODI, World. ODI World Cup as well. Yeah. He's, and he's fit enough. He's fit oh, enough. of course. He's fitter than. Fit most enough. Of and in, in, in the ODI version, I mean, yeah. again, absolute guarantee to, to be in the 11th.